Hi there, so I uh, got home from work today and at my doorstep was a package with my new REI Evergreen Campfire Rocker. I uh, want to do a review, but I'm not one for text and writing, so I thought a video would be more adequate for my uh, personality and capabilities. So a, a uh, just a quick review, talking about the, the chair and some of its features as well as some of my thoughts. So to begin with, let me show you what it comes in. I got one for my wife, um, and as you can see here, it comes in a nice package, a little handle, a little carry strap. You know, you could use it for a picnic or camping, whichever. Uh, when you open it up, the chair itself comes out like this, okay? Uh, it is zip tied, but you have the bag. You have the poles, which are attached. They're attached with their little Elastic, elastic straps to the base, and it's a very nice, neat little package. Uh, this is a good time to point out the first issue I had with this. Now, it's not complex uh, when you think of it in comparison to a tent, but a couple instructions would have been nice because you don't know which side goes up and which side goes down when you're trying to put it together. And as I discovered quickly, it only goes together one way. This is the only paperwork that comes with it. And it talks about you know, what it is, what it's designed to do, and all that. But no, no instructions to say, this side up, that side down. I had to go on REI's website. And if I had gotten this the day before I went on a camp, uh, camp out, and I'm stuck at a camp out fighting this thing, and you know, if there was bad weather or uh, any other reason that I was already frustrated, maybe the traffic to get to the campsite was bad, I don't want to fight with this. I just want to know how it goes together and put it together easily. So as a thought, I don't want to complain. I want to give some ideas here. It would be uh, one thing to note that the little tag, okay, there's a seam. The tag goes on the high side of the seam. A more logical thing, I think, would have been to put the tag on the back here. Tag on the high side, on the very back, problem solved. Okay, so I think a little uh, quick little industrial design thought right there. Um, but once you do have it together, it's, it's a nice design, it's, it's taut, okay, there's not a lot of give. Uh, I, I'll be interested to see how it does over time and, and how it eventually handles the weight and, uh, and flex. It does have some nice pockets. Oh, it's got pockets on one side. So if you want to put something, Snickers bar or whatever, they talk about cell phones. I, I don't really take that camping, much less have that, you know, while I'm chatting with people around the, the campfire or just having a beer. So, so that's the general design put together. Two other things about how this thing uh, just is in general, how, how it goes together. Uh, it, it does take a little bit of effort to get these on, but again, once you get it in the right orientation, it just slides on, little little tug, nothing to that. One thing I did note, and I'm going to push it back here and I'll show you the uh, <clears throat> the design of the seat, you'll see that this seam that I was talking about earlier, this is about the center of, of where, your, where your rear would be. So when you put your weight right there, and if you were to lean back, you can already see the issue. There's almost nothing keeping you from going, you know, over, spilling your beer. As I was talking about. So let me show you that real quick, just to point out that I'm not, I'm not messing with you or I'm not, I'm not trying to make it look bad, okay? So when I'm in it, if I keep my legs out, I'm good. Now, I'm, I'm a rather tall person, a little over six feet, so I can counterbalance myself with my feet. But if for any reason I bring my feet up and I like to, I'm automatically going back. So I've got a, there's a little bit of balance issue here. I think if they brought the, the center point forward a little bit, you know, upwards, of the, uh, of the, there's some bolts here, upwards of this, this front bolt, because when I'm sitting up, you know, I'm not worried about rolling all the way forward, not, not, not just because of the design, but because my legs are in front of me. I'm, my motion is already in this direction. My, any momentum is gonna be caught by my legs. When I'm going this way, I've got nothing. So something back here uh, would've been nice. So uh, that, that's just one issue. Um, that I really have with the design. Um, the last thing really is 
And when this does go together, okay, the uh, you, you can see it's kind of stiff. It, it's got these little finger holes here. Um, you, you just need to make sure that, let me push it back again, okay, the, these rods go inside these tubes. And it's a nice fit, it's a solid fit. Uh, but once you, you understand that once you get the whole thing built. But it will get stuck in there at kind of a cockeyed angle. And then you tap it and it falls in. If you don't tap it, it, it's snug enough to where it will want to stay on its own. And when you're trying to pull this, you know, in that case it fell, but a couple times it didn't. And so I'm fighting this thing because it's not seated right. And it's not, uh, it's not clear that it's not seated right. So maybe something like uh, what you see here, which is a separate color. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. This is green, where it slides into the lower tube. Perhaps they could have made this uh, a similar design with a green or a mark or something that says, yeah, you're properly seated inside of that tube. Other than that, you know, it takes a little bit of effort, not much. I'm a, I'm a little guy, so uh, strength isn't a huge issue. But it definitely comes together nice. I'm definitely going to keep it. Uh, it'll just be something I'll have to get used to as far as the balancing point. Um, now that I understand where the tag goes as far as how it assembles, I can get beyond that as well. Um, it's something you just kind of have to grow into, just like uh, uh, potentially a new tent, new sleeping bag, anything like that. Um, just don't grow out of that sleeping bag. This is a, it's a nice design, nice chair, nice carrying package. Uh, it's not for backpacking or anything like that, but it's good around the campsite. I'll be interested to see how this does uh, down here in the South Texas soft dirt. Hopefully I don't sink in these, uh, these rails. They're only about half inch, three quarter inch thick uh, and you know, distributed weight and all that stuff. We'll see. I have high hopes. Uh, I'm anxious to see it. And, you know, frankly, if it doesn't work out in South Texas, I'll take it to Central Texas where the, uh, the ground's a little more firm. So thank you very much. I hope this review was helpful. And uh, you know, hopefully REI, uh, as they develop more and more of these evergreen products, they will make some minor modifications to, uh, to just improve them. As always, uh, products will be improved. Thanks again.